Hey everybody, it's Dr. Marshall Moyne and Dr. Michael Long from the Clinical Pattern Recognition Team. And today we're going to be talking about increased stresses at the patellofemoral joint as well as at the IT band. And we're going to take some of the work that Dr. Davis has done with running and motor control training and put it to cycling. So, as Dr. Wong pedals here, we can see the difference between the space on his left leg to the bar and the right leg to the bar. So his right leg is falling into interrotation adduction. This increases stress at the telephemoral joint and the IT band. So what we want him to think about, I'm sorry, every time you push down, I want you to think knee out, knee out, knee out, knee out. Okay. Thousands of repetitions kind of goes into a long cycling ride. So if he thinks about it on every single stroke, that's a lot of motor control training. And that's how you apply motor control training on a bike. Keep the wheels on the road. Keep the rolls up. Keep the rolls up. <laughs> and that's how you go. And that's how you apply motor control training on a bike. Keep the road on the wheel. Ah, keep the wheels on the road. Where am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the hardest part? 